All right, Jamie Bunn, Fish Blue Water. Thanks for joining us for another exciting video. It is Wednesday, July 29th. We're here in Pompano Beach, Florida. Uh, weather's great, a little steamy, but light winds. And uh, we are ready to put some snapper on the grill. I got a craving for some yellowtail snapper, so Bottom fishing, yellowtail snapper fishing is the theme of this video. Um, I've got my nephew with me down from Orlando. I got the family with me. Uh, yellowtail fishing is a great family activity and we're gonna give it a shot together and see what we can do. So out Hillsboro and let we go and we'll see you when we get on the hook uh, at the yellowtail hotspot, hopefully. So uh, found a nice piece of bottom uh, at about 90-ish feet of water. We've got uh, we've got some good north tide, which is important for bottom fishing, yellow tailing. We'll talk about how we're going to kind of try to bring them up off the bottom when we get set. So for now, I'm making my way back to uh, that uh, the numbers, and uh, we're going to get the anchor set, and from there, we'll get to step two. So stand by. Really, it's important too when you're bottom fishing, you're anchoring, uh, a lot of chain is important because it helps once that anchor uh, hits the bottom, it helps it lay flat properly and make sure that it's uh, really going to dig in and hold bottom. So now you see I got this slack going out. Um, so I got the anchor on bottom and uh, just gonna kind of let some more slack out. Eh, I don't know, probably another 30, 40 feet. And we're gonna tie that off to the cleat and we'll see once we come tight on the anchor, hopefully we're holding. And we'll see where we are relative to the that piece of bottom that I was trying, that I wanna fish, uh, where we had some good marks. All right, so we're here on the spot. Uh, anchor is out, and I believe we should be tight momentarily. Right about 92, 93 to foot of water. You'll be able to take a look at the screen here. Before long, we got some good marks. Uh, I got my, uh, my first mates. First mate here, Riley Bunn, to my right. Second mate, if he can work his way up the ladder, is Mr. Cole Strotter to my left, who happens to be my nephew. Um, I'm just going to apologize in advance for him because there's just no telling what's going to happen on this video with him on the boat. You'll see what I mean. So stand by. We're going to get the chum going and uh, we're going to see if we can catch some yellowtail. All right. So part one, find a spot, piece of bottom that looks pretty good. Typically with yellowtail snapper, anywhere from 40, 50 feet of water out to I'd say 90, deep as 100 is going to be your sweep spot. Uh, this is an area that we've been around before, caught some yellowtail, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, but the whole thing with yellowtail, obviously they're a schooling fish, they live on the bottom, and you got to get them up off the bottom if you really want them to start feeding where you can have some fun. We've got a couple different style of rods that I'm going to show you here in a little bit, but the first part in that step in getting them off the bottom is chum, and we've got lots of it. I've got a case of chum up there, I've got two buckets right here. What we're going to do with these two buckets, I've got a couple of blocks of chum in there. Can you see that all right? Okay, perfect. 
And then what we're gonna do with each of these buckets, um, this is a, a bag of glass minnows. So I'm gonna take those glass minnows and trust me, there is nothing clean about yellowtail snapper fishing. But we're gonna toss some of those glass minnows. They're still a little bit hard. I haven't completely thawed out yet. But I'm gonna split, I'm gonna split this brick basically between the two buckets. I've got two buckets here. Each of them has two blocks of chum in them. Now I've got one full five pound box of glass minnows. Thank you to Bionic Bait. And then the last thing here um, I've got is a bag, a big bag of commercial bag of oatmeal um, that I also grabbed from Bionic Bait. Uh, and the whole deal with the oatmeal is that it kind of helps base, it's the glue that helps keep everything together with the chum, the glass minnows. And what we're gonna end up doing with this as we get going is we'll start sending these down in balls over the side of the boat. And those balls, as they basically sink down to the bottom, they'll start to disintegrate. And that chum obviously hits the bottom, the scent, the smell, everything starts to bring the yellow tail up. Next thing you know, if we get lucky, Hopefully we'll have them up on the surface feeding behind the boat. So go ahead and get this oatmeal in there now. Got two holes in the bag, which is gonna make it nice and tricky. gonna have a future job rinsing off the deck all right so we got that there last thing we need to do and this is what I got so this is what I'm gonna use you just need to take some sort of a sharp stick type device and we can get down in this chum it's still a little bit hard but it's starting to break up I don't know if you can see that whoops if you can see that in there but all we're basically going to do is we're going to just start working this around like so and uh, i think this is going to probably need just a little bit longer to thaw but once we get all that basically blended up we'll have it where we can form up some nice what they call chum balls and away we go The chum is thawing out pretty good. You can see here, get a close look, how all those oats kind of coagulate together with the chum and the glass minnows. Uh, some guys will like to do what they put sand in them, what they, do, what they call sand balling. It's just super messy, but all you do is take this ball, send it right over the side, like so. As that thing goes down, I can already see the cloud of chum starting to open up. And so we'll just keep doing that and we'll start getting the baits out and hopefully we'll get the uh, yellowtail up with them. All right, so I got two kind of uh, different rigs set up for trying to catch the yellowtail. These guys here are fishing up on the surface, up top with the current, just letting the bait float out. The whole idea is you don't want to stop it. You want to make it look like a natural bait. So it just keeps floating back in the current, floating back in the current. When that yellowtail comes up and they're feeding in the chum, they eat it start to rip the line out of your hand, you close the bale and you go. This rig here, which I call a chicken rig or it's commonly called a guppy rig, that kind of a thing, basically got a lead off the bottom and two dropper hooks here that we're gonna fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip this with some squid and I'm gonna have Braden try to go down deep with this. And sometimes you can catch other types of tasty bottom fish like pink porgies and that kind of stuff, but you also catch yellowtail on them. And so we've got bottom and top covered. Let's see what happens. I don't know what it is, but let's find out. It looks like the target species, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Mr. Yellowtail to the boat. Let's get this potty started. You! What a beautiful fish. Look at this, guys. Like I said, 
it's not going to take long. See, I've got a little, probably about a half ounce jig head here on him. We tipped that with, uh, with um, silver sides. And so far, so good. I need a pair of pliers. gonna make a beautiful filet. All right, one down, lots more to go. What you got, Rye? I don't know. Another chicken rig bite? This one's got more shoulders to it. I got two. Two yellow tail, what? Yellow tail and a baby. That one looks like a, I don't know, lame? See? Keep her tail in the lane, right? Yeah. Not that Keep awful. That's awful. Yeah. All right, so we uh, we were on fire out of the gate. First bait on my flat lane little jig rod here, and uh, caught a nice yellow tail as you guys saw. Uh, still trying to figure out the depth and get the chum going. It, they haven't turned on just yet, uh, but Riley uh, has also caught a couple of fish on that chicken rig rod that I showed you. Um, the porgy, which is a great eating fish, uh, we're definitely going to cook that thing up. And then he caught another yellowtail. He had a double header. So that's the nice thing about the jig on the bottom is, or not the jig, but uh, the chicken rig. Uh, sometimes like that, you can get a couple of fish on and just trying to figure out if they're up higher or down lower in the water column. Oh, some little mutton. Oh. Mutton? Not keeper, I don't think. No. No. Nice. Getting a nice variety pack over there, boy. Yeah. Cole Strotter. Gunslingers on the rod. Oh, double that, boys! What do you got? You got some small ass fish. <laughs> you got a little perch or something. Or is that a... Small is your specialty, Cole. Nah, it's called grande. <laughs> like what you get at Starbucks, venti. <laughs> nah. Yeller tail. Yeah. That's Yeller tail. I'm back. I'm back. got here it has been rough going since we got started thought we were gonna light them up but it's not been the case Let's see what we got right here ah. proper species ladies and gentlemen uh, that looks like a legal one like hook is right where it's supposed to be If I could get it out, there we go. I'll tell you what, um, gotta watch those spines on the fin, but one of the prettiest fish, man. I just love that yellow stripe down the side and the yellow highlights. Absolutely beautiful. Rob, right, you wanna take it up there and measure it? Yeah. 
All right, so uh, I think the saying is, you gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. Uh, we started out hot. I thought it was gonna happen. First bait in, yellowtail. What'd you catch, the porgy not long yeah, after that? A couple more yellowtails. What'd you catch, Cole? Oh, that's right, I forgot nothing. <laughs> you know, so funny. Because you got a fish to catch something and stop staring at your phone. This guy over here, to my left, we haven't seen much of him because wasn't feeling all that red hot. But anyhow, uh, still a great time out here with uh, the fam. Absolutely gorgeous night. Um, weather's been beautiful. Uh, Yellowtail just didn't cooperate. We put two buckets full of uh, chum balls in the water, plus bags of chum. Silver side's going over, just couldn't get them going. Um, anyhow, so we're gonna take it back to the dock and uh, we're gonna assess uh, the fish box when we get back. Maybe we'll do a little fillet session for you at some point and uh, if we've got enough to make it work. I do have a recipe I love for these yellowtails, so um, maybe we'll try and put a little catch session or cook session in there as well, but stay tuned and we'll see.